Islam and greetings. Don't forget to like, share, you know the drill. Thanks. This, this session will be uh, just general knowledge. Just general knowledge. Uh, one of the things that um, will be in this session will be something that I touched on in an earlier video. But first, more bona fides. This is my uh, old union card, you see. And that is how I was able to feed my family, have two cars, you know, that sort of thing. And this is my very first nationality card. Therefore, like you, I am a builder from a race of builders. Islam. And in order to continue uh, in my pursuit of the truth of things, this is my ID card for the National Archives in College Park, Maryland. Could you see that? Is, that? is that there? Okay, yeah. That is my research card. This is where I found many answers in the National Archives especially uh, that information pertaining to the prophet's uh, trip to Havana. It's there. It's in the National Archives. They're there. And as far as uh, the rest of this session, it will be strictly general knowledge. I spoke to you before about a record that you would do well to avail yourselves. And the record is Maps of the Ancient Sea Kings. This will give you a much better reference for the shape of the earth and how the lands are situated on her. Earth is not a ball. It cannot be. Would not happen. Did not happen. Is not happening now. Earth is not a ball. In this record, you will find where the Pope redesignated the Earth. He put new lines on the earth. They're called the papal lines. The Pope did that. This is why, this is partially why the world is on Greenwich Mean Time. Because the Pope moved the prime meridian from here in Egypt. And because now that England was aligned and allied with the church. That is how England got to be redesignated the center of the earth. It is a lie. Greenwich is not where the true and Allah made prime meridian. That's not its home. It was put there by the church. It was put there by the church. That's why they're called the papal lines. The popes put them there. The popes put them there. 
and there is something that really is bothering me about you all. It's really beginning to bother me about you. And this is your attachment to and your reverence for high technology. It is in the beginning stages, but you are about to let technology run your life. Evidence of that is played out all, all over this land for sure. All over this land for sure. Take the family that goes out to a restaurant, spend some family time. And when you look over at that table, everybody has some form of personal technological device in their hands. They are neither conversing among themselves. They ignore each other, even sitting at the same table. Sitting at the same table, they ignore each other. Now, what this means from a social engineering standpoint, if you're going to design new habits for people, you continue to feed their lust for the new, bright, and shiny. And that is what technology is to you. And soon it will become your God. Evidence of that is being shown to you now with the mandatory national ID card. You see, you're in the phase of this war against America where Shortly after that, shortly after the institution of the national ID cards, and again, as we've gone over, this was fashioned and tailored by Nazi Germany. The scientist, the scientist uh, wasn't the only thing that the United States managed to co-opt after the war. Scientists weren't the only thing. Some of their political stances and policies got adopted too. And all of it, all of it will be a religious test. All of it. And because the Constitution for the United States forbids it, that is all the more reason for them to want also desperately to destroy the Constitution for the United States. Because you see, that fake made-up Constitution that they use, the one that was forced on to the people in 1871, because that is the, the year of the institution of the Constitution of the United States, which is not the same document as the Constitution for the United States. Reason being, the Constitution for the United States was okayed and ratified and even had the signature of Uncle Sidi Mohammed Bey. You will not find that on the Constitution of the United States. It will not be there. Because where the United States is concerned, no more were ever here. Which is in uh, direct line with the church's 
but they're not Christian, they're savages. When the Pope yelled out the attack word, which was Columbia. But at any rate, these things are just general things, but things that you should know. Because the only reason I am telling you these things is for your own upliftment. For your own upliftment. Because you are what matters. You are what matters. Nephews and nieces, or brothers and sisters, even the Moriscos matter. Therefore, you are owed the truth of things. And I am here to give them to you. I do not have opinions, not allowed to have opinions. Therefore, I do not opine so, because I don't have any opinions. There is only truth. And truth needs no support. And you all are owed the truth. Therefore, what I'd like for you all to do is get away from being like that family at the restaurant. Get off of Facebook and put your face in a book. Do not become a slave to technology. For example, one of the creators of Apple, Steve Jobs, do you know that with all of Apple's high technology, it is, it is said that Steve Jobs does not let his children play with them. Notebooks, tablets, Whatever you got. He doesn't let it. He, he doesn't let his children. He's not he's not letting his children become a slave to him. And neither should you. Neither should you. Let me share with you one scene that was played out all over America at one time. But you can't guess what it was because you do not see it anymore. And it isn't because its time was up. People became distracted by the new, shiny, and bright. That scene was neighbors talking to each other over the back fence. You don't see that anymore. It is gone from the American landscape. And that was also the time when people actually connected with one another. The addiction to this high technology is driving you all apart. And if you've never heard this, now remember, I've already informed you that the United States is waging a war against America. I've already informed you of this. And if you continue as you are going, you are going to play right into their hands completely and the only tactic they'll use is the divide and conquer because as an individual you are nothing it is only when you are united and when you stand up against tyranny you and millions of your brothers and sisters when you stand up against tyranny now you're cooking with gas because you are many people of one mind. Again, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, ETC. Um, until our next session, I bid you peace.